Hello my friends, this is Diablo Pablo, and today I'm going to show you uh, some tips in uh, SimCity. Here we go! When you are first designing your city layout, make sure that you understand where the wind is before you place any of your zones. Your residentials will be polluted by the industry, so you want to click on your industry zone tool, and then uh, see what the wind is pointing at. Hmm, let's see. Oh, it's pointing this way. So this would be the best place for, uh, for industry, is along this border, and uh, of course. Also, keep in mind that when you are starting out, you want to understand where your water layer is. You want to see how dense the water is. Hmm, so you can see that there is quite a bit of density here. So you want to keep in mind where you want to place the water, so that it is not on uh, some ugly gray zone over here. And of course, um, you want to locate the locations and size of your underground resources, if there are any. So, you can click down here on your all data maps. And down here you can see coals. Oh, here is coal right here. Right here, right there. And then uh, let's see, ores. Uh, does not look like there is ores here. Uh, oils. Ooh, there's oil right here. Oh boy. When you are building the roads and planning for zoning, the white lines represent the road guides. The ideal distance between roads to maximize high density. Uh, these guides are based on the last two roads avenues you moused over. So if you uh, build on these lines, it will help you maximize uh, the, the full amount of, uh, of uh, the sims that you can fit into a building, of course. When you are zoning, you can hold control to a control click and it will put the residents around the entire area if the zone is blocked. Perfect. <laughs> if you look closely at the zoning tool, when you are highlighting a road, you can see the line here on the side. It will show you the, the size of the building when uh, it is at its full uh, densities. And of course, pay attention to the wind direction. Um, you can see this with the industry button here. And um, this will make sure that you are not blowing pollution from your industries onto your residentials. Clicks, clicks, click. Also, you must keep in mind, if your commercial buildings are away from an area that the sims do not drive past, uh, they will not spend money there. So, it is a, sometimes it is the best uh, technique to build your commercials uh, right in between your industries and your residentials so that they uh, can pick up a shopping on the way back from work. Of course, this is way too much data commercial, oh my goodness. When you are building your water tower, keep in mind that uh, this water um, will uh, shrink, but it will refill itself naturally when the uh, rain occurs. Also keep in your mind that uh, when you are creating a sewage outflow pipe, but if you place it next to your water tower, you will poison and probably kill a lot of your sims. <laughs> so make sure that you put your uh, your sewage output um, in a far away uh, place from the rest. When you build your town hall, uh, leave lots of space for it to expand, of course. Um, when you uh, later on, when you are upgrading to city halls and such. Uh, you will need lots of space to put uh, all the sorts of different expansions and apartments you see. Eventually you'll see that your sims uh, start to have traffic jams. Uh, to relieve this, you can build a mass transportation system. The, which, are, which is right here. The shuttle bus depot. I'm going to place you right here. Now when you place the bus stops, uh, you want to just see where um, the traffic is really bad. You do not need to put bus stops everywhere, oh my god, slam slam slam, no. You just need it uh, right perhaps uh, where the where the traffic is really bad, and then scattered about. So I'll put one right here. So like, so maybe stretch out the stops uh, just so that everything is just a little green, a tinge of green. If you have too many stops, you see, uh, unfortunately it uh, will slow down. Uh, the bus and it'll make the bus time wait uh, longer and make the whole thing uh, less efficient. And let us see this traffic. Yes, go away traffic. Also keep in mind that if, if you have traffic issues, this will bring down the profit from tourism and uh, the working sense will be less productive and uh, the fire response, police time, medical, etc. will be quite slowed down. You can upgrade roads uh, in times of traffic, um, you just use the upgrade road button right here, or the R button. High density avenue. Boop. 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 There we go. The, some service buildings come with uh, modules, uh, you can see here, the extra fire station garage. And we'll put it. Sometimes you can place it across the street also. And of course a fire alarm. And uh, hopefully it will. Uh, this flag will help us. And um, yes, we, <laughs> we desperately need the fire metal. 
<laughs> oh boys! Ooh, that's a hot one. Oh. It is important to place parks uh, everywhere. <laughs> If you place a uh, nature, you want to make your sims happy and uh, increase the land value, of course. And I will just do it right over and uh, there we go. And uh, if you place uh, the higher uh, cost parks, more formal in plaza, it will encourage um, quite a few um, higher wealth sims to move into this area. It's perfect. When you are placing services such as fire departments, clinics, police stations, and uh, education schools, uh, make sure that you're giving yourself enough room to expand later on when you need to grow your services. Here you can see that uh, the red boxes symbolize uh, that if you build it too close to a road on one side, then you cannot expand classrooms on that side. So I'm going to put it right here. Boop! When it is time to upgrade your buildings to expand, you do not need to build uh, more clinics to say, uh, you can just upgrade the ones that you have. This is including uh, the police stations and um, and fire departments and all sorts of everything else. It will have uh, these modules that you can upgrade your buildings to suit the needs of your city. When you are first building your city, uh, you want to plan for eventual road size. You can see here that I'd love to put a high density road here so I can build up on my city. But unfortunately, I've left myself in kind of a pickle because uh, there is not enough space uh, between these two buildings to just upgrade it. So, uh, ooh, I'm gonna have to destroy a bunch of stuff. Uh, oh boy, ooh, that hurts. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, I'll do it. Oh! <laughs> Now I must build the High Density Avenue right on through here. If you are interested in building clean, efficient, uh, high-tech technology industry, uh, you must focus on your education system. Uh, you start with a grade school to high school and of course the college, uh, libraries and then the university will uh, of course uh, give the people the education to uh, run such a thing. When it is time for you to expand your city, you see here that my industry demands are way more than I have room for, uh, it's time to go into a region view and snag yourself another city. Claim! Once you're in your other city, you just build it up like any other city, and, uh, and then uh, you will um, be able to uh, use the city hall from the other city, so you do not need to uh, add on the same uh, add-ons to your city hall. And uh, also, you will also uh, trade jobs and services within each other, and it will be great and fantastic. You will have a fantastic friendship city right next door, it's fantastic. And, um, and that pretty much does it for a bunch of beginner tips, uh, of course. If you have your own tips, I'd love to read them in the comments. I'm sure others will too. So, thank you for watching. This has been great. I love you all. Mwah! Oh, and one more thing. I almost forgot to uh, build trees. Build trees everywhere. Trees are beautiful.